It just seemed like yesterday when this specific former high school sensation broke the internet with his unreal ferocious type athleticism and truthfully despite the lifelong grind he's put forth the NBA hasn't been so welcoming to him but he's always had it in him to overcome all adversity since he was born this is the Mac McClung story. Mac McClung became an overcomer well before stepping foot on the basketball court because as he was being born in the delivery room, the umbilical cord was wrapped twice around his neck, which could have cut off the oxygen to his brain. Now the doctors were able to free him and cleared up his breathing. Now coming up in Gate City, Virginia, it was a small town that only consisted of about 2,000 people. But as a kid, he first took part in playing football and wanted to take after his father, Marcus, who was an exceptional football player that was a linebacker for Virginia Tech. And at a young age, McClung was always one of the more so competitive kids on his teams. His father even stated, Mac was just born with it. If you're fixing a bowl of cereal, he's going to make a competition. Now his parents even built a basement gym in their home that was initially for his sister. But with Mac being the competitive workhorse that he was, he would constantly work out so much so to whereas his father would a lot of times have to ban him from the gym so his sister could use it. Now McClung really started to gain his share of exposure on the basketball court just before entering the 7th grade and that was when his mother signed him up for a local basketball league and the head coach of the local high school basketball team peeped his head in the gym just for a minute but he basically never left when he came across a young Mac McClung simply obliterating his opponent and after realizing on how good he really was he focused a lot of his development and training towards basketball which led him to give up football he took his skills to the next level and his shooting form would improve drastically after he broke his arm while snowboarding in the eighth grade and as a freshman while attending Gate City High School located in Virginia, he played on varsity and around this time he was constantly in the gym working on his vertical leap just trying to get his first dunk but little did he know that way more was coming. So once he first started dunking in the 10th grade, it really elevated his game to the next level and he played with a certain type of aura and confidence about him and just like that he was doing things on the court that hardly anybody around the town had ever seen because in his junior season he averaged 29 points, 6 assists and 3 steals per game and on February 24th 2017 he scored a career high 64 points in a state tournament game but in a loss to Dan River High School. It was the best scoring performance in school history and the highest among Virginia public schools since 1984. He was named conference player of the year but also ended that season being named the Southwest Virginia Boys Basketball Player of the Year. Now in his season debut as a senior he scored 47 points in a win over Lee High School. And this was in front of NBA legend and Georgetown head coach Patrick Ewing. Every single game was like a movie and he became more and more of a household name with its viral hoop mixtape surfacing the internet. And a lot of the things Mac did just didn't seem real. McClung broke the VHSL single season scoring record which was previously held by Hall of Famer Allen Iverson during the 2018 VHSL regional playoffs on February 21st surpassing Iverson's record of 948 points in 25 games. Mack ended his high school career leading his team to their first state championship but he scored 47 points in a win. Mack finished that season with 1,153 points and 2,801 for his whole entire career. He stole the show at every single event that he went to and his name just kept skyrocketing. But despite his amazing high school campaign he put together, he was still regarded as only a four star recruit. And since he was only six foot two, a lot of people just doubted him and labeled him just an internet highlight dunker. But he just kept proving everyone wrong. He had offers from schools like Georgetown, Rutgers, and Boston College, just to name a few. He decided to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at Georgetown University. In his freshman season, he averaged 13 points, three rebounds, and two assists per contest, and led all Big East Conference freshmen in scoring. 
On December 22nd, 2018, McClung posted a season high, 38 points, and a victory over Little Rock. He ended his freshman season being named to the Big East All-Freshman Team, but during his sophomore season, he did deal with his share of injuries and played only 21 games, but he averaged 16 points, 2 assists, and 1 steal. And after his sophomore campaign, he made the decision to declare for the 2020 NBA Draft. Now, he did sign with the NCAA certified agent to maintain his collegiate eligibility. And shortly after, he winded up withdrawing his name from the draft and instead entered the transfer portal and chose to play basketball at Texas Tech and had a pretty solid season as he averaged 16 points a night. You just saw, he just looked more poised and more sharp from the offensive end. And it was looking like he could possibly be a second round pick. And in April of 2021, he declared for the NBA draft, but this time he remained. And unfortunately, his name was not called, but he would get a call from the Lakers to join their summer league team. And he did struggle a bit, but he showed where he was a superb defender. But then soon after he signed, he was cut a couple months later. But the very next week, he signed with the South Bay Lakers of the NBA G League. In his very first game there, he scored 24 points, 9 assists, and 6 rebounds in a win versus the NBA G League Ignite. On December 22, 2021, McClung signed a 10-day contract with the Chicago Bulls and signed a second 10-day in January of 2022. And just days later, the Bulls signed McClung to their NBA G League affiliate, the Windy City Bulls. A lot of his performances went on to show that he really didn't belong in the G League and that all he really needed was a real opportunity. And after going back and forth from affiliates, McClung finished his first season back on the South Bay Lakers, but his hard work earned him to be named G League Rookie of the Year. In the summer of 2022, Mack joined the Warriors Summer League squad and they signed him to a one-year non-guaranteed contract. And just like before, they went on to waive him. But on October 9th, 2022, the Philadelphia 76ers signed McClung to a 10-day contract before being waived a day later. Mack did go on to join the NBA G League's Delaware Blue Coats for the 2022-23 season. On February 14th, 2023, Mack signed a two-way contract with the Philadelphia 76ers. And not too long ago, he accepted an invitation to participate in the Rising Stars and accepted an invite to the 2023 NBA Slam Dunk Contest. And he simply stole the show. Mac McClung has had a goal since day one, and that was to be a star in the NBA one day. And he's always had a work ethic that has put him in the upper echelon of most polarizing high school talents we've ever seen. Now, it maybe hasn't been the route he expected he would have to take, but he's truly embraced all the setbacks and has took full advantage of every single one of his opportunities. Um, I always said it until, it, you know, things happen. I always believe in manifesting things. And um, it was a great experience. I'm truly grateful to be out there. I'm a dog. Like, I love this game, like, more than anything in the world. Like, I come to compete. I come to win. I know that's what Philly is about. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mac McClung story.